This evening's sixth annual lecture is going to look at the topic, um, which I think is very timely, of the battle for the soul of capitalism. The financial crisis has imposed economic and fiscal costs upon the British economy and public finances. And I guess here he would say the same about the Irish economy and public finances that rival those of a world war. At present, we have in Western Europe one of the most centralised economy, economies the world has ever seen. And the fear is that we have governments, central banks and private sector banks seeking to manage the economy simply to stabilise each other. We're still held hostage by a banking industry that has significant civic power but little civic responsibility. Once banks are forced to take more responsibility for themselves, and have had some of their temptations minimised, the need for public oversight automatically becomes less pressing. It was C.S. Lewis's belief that it's only Christianity that offers a convincing narrative to explain the turmoil we see before our eyes as the tectonic plates of good and evil slide one across the other. Looking at human nature, and I suppose where, where I have uh, fundamental problems with the overall of what James was saying tonight is not that I disagree with it, but in the real world, I just wonder how possible is it. In terms of shareholder value, um, you know, we individuals, pension funds, employees, managers, we own shares, we own equities, and we in many respects have forced those institutions that have caused so many problems to cause those problems because what we wanted was maximise shareholder value. That was the mantra. I'd be interested in either of you, if you, you could give us what you feel are clear examples of asymmetrical risk taking that meant that the disadvantaged ended up paying the bill for the speculators. It was an asymmetric risk that it lay behind the banking crisis, which was that uh, banks were able uh, to speculate on the basis that if things went well, they privatised the game. If things went badly wrong, which they did, it's the state who picked up the bill. So that's, that was probably one of the biggest asymmetric risks the world has ever seen.